Testing, testing, one, two, three, is this thing on? Hello? Okay, good. <clears throat> Hello there, everybody, my name is Afroman, and this is episode nine of the Pokemon Silver version walkthrough. On our last episode, we just have, we just explored through Goldenrod City, battled the trainers underground, gave Togepi a haircut, battled the trainers from the Goldenrod City gym, then battled Whitney, and it took four Pokemon to defeat that, um, I mean, it took four of my Pokemon to defeat that Miltank. I was jumping around, reacting very badly as I defeated her and got the third badge. Okay, what happened in the afterwards is I forgot to record where I got the... Well, it doesn't matter. I got the squirt bottle, and then I just battled those three trainers, and that's it. Yeah, that was basically the long and short of it. So, I don't know what kind of Pokemon he has. But I think I need Hoo to level up as well. Ivan. He has a Diglett. Oops. I guess when I minimize it, this thing goes away. Sorry. There we go. Sorry, the reason why I froze is because I just minimized it. That's what happened. If you want to know, how, if you want to know, I just told you. on one hit but still though if I can defeat Whitney if I defeated Whitney on first try oh my <clears throat> if I defeated Whitney on my first try surely no one can defeat me is that true I don't think so it's not true anyone can still defeat me because look my, all my Pokemon are, are level are below level 20 except for my three Pokemon Totodile, Bayleaf, and Togepi Going for um, Diggle again, huh? I might use a ground type move like ma Magnitude. Safe and sorry. Use Leer. I tried lowering. I tried lowering. Like lower. Ooh, <laughs> lowering its defense. That way, headbutt. That way, it can finish it off with one headbutt attack. Looks like that worked. It's in cool that. Oh, dang. Almost at level 19. I give. I know what Pokemon he has. I want to battle him first. And I know just the Pokemon to use him. I'm practicing my fire breathing. That's, that's cool. Sitting out Magmar, I sent out Totodile. Using Amber. Sorry, the reason why I'm not talking right now is because I'm busy with something. I'm trying to edit something if I catch a new Pokemon and Totodile is burned. Okay, Totodile. <laughs> Totodala has a burn status, but it looks like it can still fight. As it finish off Magmar with one water gun attack. And again it boosts to 589. It's about to send out another Magmar. Will will Aphromar switch his Pokemon? No. Because he knows about the type advantage. That's what Magmar goes for fire punch. It's like a special attack because of the fire type move. Though it hits physically. That's only generations one to two. One through three, until generation four, they 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 all know what's physical, what's a physical attack, and what's a special attack. So 
to Toledo can still battle. Finish off with Water Gun. That's what that did it. 697. That's cool. We defeated Walt. <clears throat> Ow, I scorched the tip of my nose. Oh, that's sad. What are you doing, Totodile? Why do you not want to evolve? Oh well, never mind. Doesn't matter. We can still win. Behold my grateful ball dexterity. Dexterity. I don't know how to pronounce. I think I might have pronounced it right. Yeah, I did. Erwin. With a Voltorb. Level 2. It's almost like he hasn't trained his Pokemon at all. But if you all want to know, he he has only all four. The four of his Pokemon are just nothing but Voltors that are leveled up by four. Two, six, ten, and fourteen. It's almost like the reason why that's cause he, it's almost like he has one Pokemon, but instead of defeating it, it's almost like it's almost like it gets stronger every time it's been defeated. It's just like that. See? It's like that's the same Voltorb, just grew a level. It hasn't backed down yet. Nope. Still, still continuing, continuing on with Cyndaquil. Because I no Pokemon. Well, Bailey, if I do have that. Lesser West Defense, you use Quick Attack. What do you say? Using Screech? Really? I mean, do you really think you could defeat it with your measly little tackle attack, huh? No. I don't think so. Quick attack, finish it off. Oh, it's tackle attack I meant. Level 14. Oh, right. Just use Ember. Although it may not finish it off. Nope, it didn't. Headbutt! Its defense is low, yeah. I was kind of right. All right, quick attack, finish it off. It's almost a level 20. Woo! That was a jolt. Not yet, Cyndaquil. I want about all of those. I want about those trainer. Dang it! I know I have burn heal. Drowsy. Drowsy looks weird than the one I saw in the crystal version. I mean, I mean, I've never experienced the different sprites from gold and silver. I think. Headbutt. Ooh, it flinched. Quick attack. I would use the Pokemon to um, train a little bit to see how much my Pokemon have approved so far. No, still doesn't want to evolve yet, huh? Can't blame ya. Now let's take, now let's take a little stroll around and battle this guy. But I don't think I have Pokeballs with me to catch Sudowoodo. 
And let's face it, its catch rate is 45%. Meaning if I throw with a Pokeball and it has like one hit point left and it's, and it's and if it's fast asleep, then it might be like zero times to one. Seriously, it's like they're still strong enough. It's like they won't let up. Level 19. Look. I thought something was biting my neck. I thought it was a bug. 10 minutes. Sure. I'll register anyone's number who wants to. Any people's numbers that want rematches. Not those who just want to talk and waste time. Nidoran looks different than the gold and crystal version. Alright. Not yet. Before I go to the bug catching contest. And it's 10 13 p.m. Thursday. I gotta heal the Pokemon. Although it would be it would have been smarter if I went to the Pokemon Center instead. Yeah, it would have been smarter, but. I prefer to doing. I prefer. Me. <sighs> okay, I prefer doing this. It's better than walking back and forth. Unless you, unless you don't have to encounter wild Pokemon. That is. Oops. Hang on. Hang on. I need Cyndaquil back. Oh, if you want to know where I caught it, Palm, I just caught it around 32. I didn't record it. I was trying to find. I was trying to catch a Heracross. Like I said, I'm not planning on capturing it. Such a pity because it'll take forever. I wasted six hours catching it. Six freaking hours trying to find one Heracross. And this, I mean, I don't know if, there, if there's a chance for it to flee away from battle. But I can't risk that, now can I? Fresh off a tackle. Alright, Hoot Hoot, you're still good. Now, before I use you, you're about. Before I let you battle Suda Widow, there's something I need to do. Oh, wait! There's something missing. That wo that girl's not there. That's fine. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get off my bike, save the game, but I'm not ending my walkthrough there. It's a weird tree. You squirt, squirt bottle? Yeah. The weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. It's a pseudo widow. It's a level 20. Perfect. We'll just keep on using, um, water gun. Hopefully there won't be a critical hit. I'm not gonna use... Or I'm not gonna use water gun again. Maybe I'll try waking off with rage. Hit Toto Dao with your best shot, Sudo. Oh, good thing it was a critical hit. Oh no, flail. It may not be a good idea, but... Oh, that's good, right there. It's fine, I'm not going even going to gain... I'm not even going to gain experience points for this. I'm gonna catch you. 
Oh, come on. Oh, sweet. If it missed, I would have said, oh, snap. <laughs> Let's see if a Pokeball works. Like I said, it might not work. Oh, it worked. Katsuda Widow. Ow. Give me a sec. Oh, no, no, hang on. Almost done. Pseudo-Widow, stick, pseudo-Widow, the imitation Pokemon. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water, so it will disappear if, if it starts raining. It should have run away when I sprinkled, um, Squirtle Bottle at it. Wouldn't that make more sense? I thought it would. But with that aside... Welcome to the team! Now as I said, time to go to the bug catching contest. But, Sudo Will is asleep. I would have used I would have used um Hoot Hoot for this, but wait. Now I'll just use um Sudo Widow. I'll I'll train Sudo Widow for the next one. I'm just depositing those Pokemon to heal them. That's all. Sudo Widow check. Hoo check. And Totodile check. There we go. This episode is just going to be indicating that that no one could forget the bug catching contest that was held in Johto. Generation 2, Generation 4, Gold, Silver, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. Rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch, uh, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yes. Uh oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Sudowoodo, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? Yes. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. Make sure you don't. I hope you're not Team Rocket. I mean, I mean, I hope you're not a Rocket member. All right, I have 20 minutes. That means I'll be done probably 10:40 or, or when I catch a strong Pokemon like Scyther or Pinsir, for example. Or Beedrill or Butterfree. They have the highest ranks. And I have to catch them at full health. Probably should have used um hoo hoo for this. Rock throw. What? How can you miss? Much better. Hmm. 1021. We have 19 more minutes left. Where is that? Level 7. Lame. And I know what Pokemon can do. They'll flee. You're not the one I'm looking for. I'm trying to find Scyther, Pinsir, uh, Butterfree, or Beedrill here. Then I, no. But I can battle it to get to get a little bit of experience points. But I don't want to waste the power points. I mean, I don't want to waste the. I I don't want to waste the Rock Throws PP. 
has the attack miss on his first try against a lowly, a lowly leveled Weedle. What sense does that even make, huh? It makes no sense whatsoever. at full health. I'm starting to think that park walls are like Pokeballs. They are Pokeballs. Is that, is that the farthest it can beep? Just two times? If I keep you, I mean, well, it's been three minutes and only have 17 more minutes left. And I don't want to damage it, that's why. I mean that's why I want to be in I want to be in first place so I can so I can get the sunstone and possibly get to Ecotic City as fast as I can. Oh man, it was three times I'm so close. And I know that I have 15 more days left until Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are released. But the one problem is that, um, now that my computer and everything else, everything else, wait, my monitors and my desktop, all, they have all been updated, my YouTube, whenever I upload YouTube, it gets slower and it takes about, like, I don't know, three to six hours for it to upload? That's bad. So that's why I had to skip a few parts that had nothing to do with the walkthrough, like battle a few traders trying to get closer to the city before I before I started recording. That way it'll be faster. Because I only got uh I got uh, three badges in eight for three badges in eight episodes. And uh, and I just spent five minutes on this trying to catch up one trying to catch that scyther look at it it's like it wants me to weaken it so that way i'll lose i only have eight park balls left <laughs> time to look for the rest to train Sudo Widow. That's all I need to do. Well, since I got Scyther, Saturday I'm going to use Hoot Hoot, so that way I can train it. Or no, or no, I'm just going to, or no, I'm just, uh, no, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait Saturday to train Hoot Hoot. It might evolve to a Noctowl, or it'll stay as a Hoot Hoot, whether I decide if, if I want to, well, if I want to evolve it. Besides, um, let's see. When Saturday comes, I might be at, uh, Mahogany Town. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Do! <sighs> Third place! Maybe 
I might train Scyther. Or I'll trade that. I'll trade Scyther. From my, um, game. From my game. Iceberry. That heals up frozen Pokemon. I know that. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. I'm going to Ecoteek City. Gotta heal Sudo Udo. Oh, no, no, no. Look at Scyther. It looks powerful. <laughs> 30. 30. So, never mind, I don't know why I'm making those sounds. I'm still gonna keep on going. I'm gonna battle this trainer. And you're all going to watch Hood Hood battle that psychic trainer who has Abra and Kadabra. But unfortunately, he doesn't have ring. He doesn't want rematches. It sucks. You have Abra, Kadabra. I'll use Peck on you. I'll just Peck you. Yeah, keep on using Flash. It's like the only move you have. Oh, you have three Abras? No, 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 that plural's wrong. You have three Abra. Whoops. No matter how many times you try lowering his ac her accuracy, you'll never, you'll never uh, get away from Hood Hoots. Keen eye ability. I know the abilities are only are only introduced in Generation 3, but I'm just pretending. Oh, now it missed. It's all for confusion. Still unable to hit it, huh? Well, who can blame you? Me! <laughs> well, who can blame you? Oh, I know who. Me! Lowers accuracy four times now. Who is not able to hit anyone? Well, time to switch to Sudowoodo. Just confusion. Alright, that's fine. I'll just use rock. I'll just rock throw on ya. I mean, I'll rock throw ya. See? That's why Sudowood is part of my team. This guy has a Tangela, and I want to battle him. He has good Pokemon as well. Alan. That's Turquoise. Why do they always have wrong... Why do they have wrong colors in Generation 2? Crocona... Crocona's body's green. Tangela's color is Turquoise. And for some reason, Spiderak is purple. Oh, well, it was a long time ago. Really. And it was biggest, it was one of the biggest mistakes as well. Keep on using Peck. I know that his defense is high, but his special defense is low. But if in Generation 1, Tangela can be unbeatable. Get what I mean. Whoops. Computation error. Ok, 
give me a second to do something. What? Who is evolving? Congratulations. Your Hoot Hoot evolved into Noctowl. There. I had to fix that. <laughs> Arnie Bugcatcher, what do you want? Is those boring comments? Wow, 30 minutes. I gotta hurry get I gotta get to Ecotic City and fast. So I got two fully evolved Pokemon, Sudowoodo and Noctowl. What is that, Leaf Togepi, Cyndaquil, and Bayleaf? They're still strong enough! Besides, all my Pokemon are level 20 now! But I don't think that's a good thing, really, because... Morty's Ghost Pokemon are above level 24. But let's face it, I don't stand a chance against Morty. Besides, Morty's kinda dangerous. Besides, Morty's kinda dangerous. You gotta come with me, Jerry. We gotta do this, Togepi. You gotta defeat that jiggly pump, Togepi. You gotta use the metronome. You, you, you gotta... <laughs> yeah. Nice try. You can't use... <laughs> you can't use... Uh, uh, you can't use disable because of metronome. It uses a different kind of move. Oh my, my god, yes, you sing. Why? You... There's no time. <clears throat> Dang it, I don't have any. Oh, oh. so gold berry is just like um, citrus berry. We're a whole way. Way easily increase 30 hit points. That was an off color right there, I think. Still sleeping, aren't you? You see the letter F that changed this color as well? It's so bizarre! Do you kids, do you toddlings think you can really defeat me? I'm Afro Bleeding Man! Have you seen my Afro? It's enormous! Do you really think you can outwit me, kid? I'm Sherlock Bleeding Holmes! Have you seen my magnifying glass? It's enormous! <laughs> Keep up the attacks. Use headbutt. It's getting so hot in here, I'm starting to hallucinate. That's just what I needed you. I needed that encore. Keep on using headbutt. Defeating your Clefairy. And defeating Ann and Ann. Ann, Ann, Ann. You're mean. Yeah, and you're easy to defeat. Tough Noogie's turncoat. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Not if I let you, not if I um not if I get your Pokemon to sleep first. I'll beat you there. So you can use Drowsy's hypnosis attack, huh? Well Togepi is not gonna let that happen. Metronome Sonic Boom. Yes. That's good for now. You can't use Disable, because of Metronome. Yes! Mega Horn! That's exactly what I needed. Good job! Look, Togepi's getting stronger. It's like it doesn't really need to evolve. I lost. That's pretty sad. Maybe I should have gotten the Everstone. We made it to Ecritique City. Huh? Oh. 
I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm? Jillian, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjust- I just finished adjustments on my time castle. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time castle was developed to be- to enable trades with the past. With the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remote- you have- you have to remote anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on to back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye That was Bill. He said tomorrow, huh? In the next two hours, they'll all be activated. And then I'll be able to trade the Pokemon from Generation 1 to here. And you all know who I'm going to transfer. Don't know? Take a guess. As I have finally completed the why well, As I have finally completed my walkthrough, all I do is just heal up my Pokemon. And once I'm done with the walkthrough, I'm going to train my Pokemon, get them to level 22 or 21. And then resume back to the walkthrough. Don't worry. Is this it? It'll, I'll make things quick. Anyway, that concludes episode 9. Episode 10 will resume. Episode 10 will be here shortly, and I will see you all later. Bye!